All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahawah Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect that are told in this truth. I'm Pataka Moth Jim as Dallas, and I'm just coming back at you with a really quick hit lesson, and I'm going to straight up just call this lesson E is the devil straight up, man. You know, and that's it. You know, it's going to get to the point, man. This dude is the straight up devil. He's just a straight up devil. He's a deceiver, he's a liar. You know, he's all about lies and deception, man. And, and, that, and the main deception that this dude is bringing and lying about right now is that serpent's piss, that, that, that juice, man. You know what I'm saying? And he's pushing that with, 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 with everything he has right now, which is going, things are going to uh, ramp up and, and, and get worse because we're, we're, we're at the beginning of Jacob's trouble. And Jacob's trouble, you know, once it ramps up, it's going to get ugly out here, man. But this devil is coming, man. You know, but he's just a straight up devil, man. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? So without any further ado, I'm just gonna get in, into it because this dude right now, the 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 that that the main thing this dude is doing is is uh is pushing that juice, man. You know what I'm saying? He's mandating things, and, and, and he's about to make life uh, uh unbearable for those who don't want to bow down to what he wants them to do, man. You know. So this is Psalms chapter 37. And verse 7, and it reads, rest in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and wait patiently for him. Which, will, of course, we know those that's resting in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is the elect in one-third, man, are the elect in one-third. You know, they're the ones who have the names and they're calling on the names. Those are the, the ones that uh, are returning to, uh, uh, you know, their heritage to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, that remnant spoken of in Isaiah, the 10th chapter, you know, and the scriptures say, uh, uh, Wait ye upon me, man. The Lord told us to wait on him, man. You know what I'm saying? So the elect and one-third are, are doing these things. So Psalms 37 and 7, rest in your house, Bashem Yahushua, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. You know? And we know who that is, man. You know? The man of wicked devices, man. You know what I'm saying? E, man. You know? Esau, Edom. The so-called self-proclaimed white man, you know, he's the one that's bringing wicked devices to pass, man. You know what I'm saying? And it says because of him who prospereth in his way, because he's prospering along the way as he as, as he destroys you and, and, and jacks you up and destroys you, even putting some to death, many of you to death. He's prospering along the way as he's doing this, man. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord said, fret not, you know, and worry about this dude, man, you know. If you wait patiently upon me, I got you, man. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, 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 but the, the that main a uh, uh, wicked device in, in these times now that that this dude is is is, is using is is that uh, uh, that juice, man. That serpent's piss, man. You know, and through mandates and wicked decrees and, and laws and legislation, you know, this dude is about to make Jake suffer, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you either going to bow down and, and, and take this or you're about to go through it out here. Now, of course, we know because our, our power told us, I believe it's in Isaiah 60, uh, 65 and 13. He says, my servants shall eat, my servants shall drink and my servants shall rejoice. But ye shall be hungry, ye shall thirst and ye shall be sorrowful, man. You know, and of course, that ye is two thirds of our people who have attached themselves to this wicked society and system to set up Esau, you know, and his ways. You know, they're taking counsel, but not of the Lord, like the scriptures say. You know, they're all about Egypt, you know, which this is spiritual Egypt pursuing the revelations 11 and 8, you know, so they're all about this place. You know, they're going for, they going to Egypt for help when the Lord says, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. You know what I'm saying? They're going to pay for these things. Woe means destruction in the scriptures, man. So you're going to be destroyed if you go to this devil for help, man. You know, you're supposed to have a, a, a faith in your how about you shine rely on him, man, you know. Isaiah 10 and, and, and 20 says that we're no, we're no longer going to uh, stay upon him that smote us, you know, that that stay is rely or depend on. But we're going to stay upon the Holy One of Israel, man. You know, we're going to rely and depend on the Lord, man. You know, he's our savior. He's our salvation. He's our king. The, the, uh, the scriptures say that, man. You know what I'm saying? So but 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 that that device, man, which which, of course, the scriptures tell you in Second Corinthians uh, uh, 2 and 11. You know, basically, lest Satan should get the, uh, an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. You know what I'm saying? And that we is 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 uh, 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 the elect, man, the one third. I'm saying we're not ignorant to this devil's devices, man. We know all about this juice, and we're out here warning our people. Isaiah 58, 8, 8 and 1, 
You know, we're lifting up our voice like a trumpet. We're crying aloud, man. And we're trying to show Jake what the deal is. We're blowing the trumpet, man. And we're warning our people, you know, danger is coming, man. Jacob's trouble is upon us and these dangers. And it's going to get crazy out here, man. And Jake is two thirds of our people are not going to listen. That's why they're prophesied to die, man. Two parts is prophesied to be cut off and die pursuing the Zechariah 13 and 8, man. You know what I'm saying? But all of these uh, wicked legislations and laws and, 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 de and decrees that this nigga is passing, man, is, is, is setting up everything with, 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 you know, with this juice, man, which is going to uh, uh, eventually lead into the MOTB, man. You know what I'm saying? But that reminds me of, the, of Daniel's the eighth chapter real quick. It's Daniel 8 and verse 25, and it reads, and through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. And 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 when you go into that word policy, uh, it's going into his uh, uh, his uh, intellect, his intelligence, his knowledge, his wisdom, his understanding. You know what I'm saying? So uh, uh, by way of his his intellect, his, his his intelligence, his knowledge, his wisdom, his understanding, he's going to cause craft to prosper. Which that craft, when you go into that word, is deceit and treachery. So by way of that, that intellect, that in intelligence, that knowledge, that wisdom and understanding, he's going to cause uh, 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 deceit and treachery to prosper in his hand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, come and get this uh, 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 juice, man. It'll keep you safe. You know, you want to be safe, don't you? And Jake, yeah, I want to be safe. You know, and they're going to run right over there. You know, you want things to get back to normal, don't you? Yeah, we want things to be back normal to normal, Mr. Mr. E. You know, we'll come on and take this juice so things can get back to normal. But things are not going to get back to normal because we're at the end of the world, man. This is the end. This is it, man. And this nigga is getting ready to try to fight Yahweh Shine the angels when they return because he knows that. Revelations 12 and 12 is about to come down having great wrath because he know that he had but a short time, man. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shine is on his way back, man. You know? So that peace, it says by peace, shall he, he shall destroy many, you know, because that, that, that uh, juice is going to uh, destroy you, man. You know, if it, it's going to either jack you up or it's going to put you to death, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and he's magnified these things in his heart, man, in, in his mind, man. You know, this dude is above himself, man. You know, but, but like the scriptures say, the Lord told him, uh, uh, the pride of thine heart had deceived thee, uh, uh, you know. Because, uh, they, uh, they that the dwell in the clefts of the rock, roughly par paraphrasing, man. You know, the Lord said He's gonna bring these devils down, man. You know, so it says, uh, He He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but shall be broken without hands. So He's gonna try to fight the uh, Yahweh Shana angels when they return. Revelations twelve and seven goes into that that war in heaven. You know, which He's gonna lose and He's gonna lose royally, man. You know. You know, Second Ezra, the 13th chapter goes into that. Ain't going to be nothing left but the smell of smoke, dust and smoke, man. You know, that's it. He, he gonna be, he's going to be through, man, like very quickly. And the Lord ain't going to have to lift a finger, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so uh, uh, bringing forth all of these uh, uh, wicked laws and decrees, man, you know, and, and, and this wicked legislation, you know, reminds me of Daniel, the 10th chapter. Because that's how this dude, that's what this dude is doing with all these, uh, um, uh, not Daniel, I'm sorry. So like Isaiah, the 10th chapter, uh, you know, that's what this dude is doing. He's setting up uh, uh, with these mandates and everything, man, by way of his wicked decrees. This is uh, Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteousness. So like you, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. You know what I'm saying? And they they write they they prescribe you know they 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 write these things down before you know which is what prescribed mean you know and it's all decrees of grievousness man that's gonna put you through the ringer basically man you know it ain't gonna be nothing good man for you you know and they're gonna be unrighteous man you know because it's gonna put you in a position some uh, of some wicked shit that this nigga is doing and you're not gonna have a choice man basically or, or you're gonna lose your livelihood you know. You know, pursuing to this 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 juice that this nigga is pushing right now, it's going to live to lead, uh, lead into the MOTB, man. You know what I'm saying? But it says, "Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees." So, woe again means destruction. So, the Lord is going to destroy this dude for that, man. You know what I'm saying? 
And at the end of the day, the Lord is allowing this dude to do all of these things. Because when you read, you know, uh, to uh, fulfill prophecy, which I did a, a lesson not too long ago, uh, how the wisdom is being taken out of Teman, man. And, and basically, the Lord has given this dude all of this wisdom. You know, he's making it made him wiser than Daniel. You know, in, in Daniel, the 12th chapter, it says that he uh, 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 knowledge was going to increase. So he's allowed this dude to to increase in knowledge, you know, by way of his pseudoscience, his technology, you know, on the, on the left hand side. And in, in the, in the, uh, to, to show uh, uh, his power and, and to bring this, uh, 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 this devil down, man, you know, this is going to magnify his, his name, you know what I'm saying, and show his power, man. So that's what the Lord is doing, man. And when you read in 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter and verse 7, it goes into it. This is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 7, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work which we know that's Esau, only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. So the Lord is allowing this dude to do these all of these things until he takes him out of the way. And what's the purpose of allowing him to do these things, man, till he, till he removes this dude? Well, let's get it, man. You know, it's Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 4, and it reads, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So that's why he's allowing this dude to do these things, man. There's a day of evil to take care of you wicked people, man. You know, you wicked jakes, man. You know, that day of evil is going to get you, man. You know? So that's why he's allowing this dude. And we know this dude is the wicked pursuant to, to, to Malachi, the first chapter and, and verse four. You know, he's the border of wickedness. He shall, uh, he was going to build the desolate places. He shall build, but I shall throw down. The Lord's about to throw this place down, man. You know what I'm saying? And the pursuing uh, Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, the power of the wicked. You know, we know that Esau is the one uh, uh, in control of everything, man. You know what I'm saying? So the wicked, we know who that is, man. And by again, by the, by way of, 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 of all these, uh, uh, his, his policy, his craft, you know, his wicked uh, 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 decrees, you know, all these things have set up this uh, 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 wicked device, man, that he's pushing now, you know. Which is that that juice, man, which again is going to lead to the MOTB, man, which is going to ultimately make you the ultimate slave, man, you know, to this dude, man, you know, but he's going to pay for those things. Not going to get away with it. When you read in Habakkuk, uh, the second chapter. In verse 15. It reads, it's Habakkuk 2 and 15. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink that putteth thy bottle to him and makest him drunken. Also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness, because that's what this dude does, man. He leads, he leads Jake to everything that Jake sh and, and then goes and, and, and tells the Lord, you know, these are your people, but but you led him over there, man. You know, this dude put puts pork and everything, and your, your soaps, and your shampoos, and your lotions, and your and things you're drinking, and, and candy, and, and gummies, and you know jellos, and you know uh, uh, just everything, man. He'll he'll take a freaking uh, something that's supposed to be lawful, like like beef. He'll, he'll have on a package beef sausage, you know. So uh, you know Jake will think they're eating. You know, yeah, I don't want no pork. I'm gonna get them to grab these beef sausages, but and really little bitty fine print that you have to search for and find that shit this dude has in pork casing but what the hell is that about man you know why would you put a beef sausage in a pork casing because this dude is the wicked man he's a devil he's a deceiver and he knows that's going to make jake go off and then he's going to you know when 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 jake is going off he let him he let him there you know you set jake up this dude is setting jake up every which way he goes man you know then he'll go and tell the lord you know He'll lead Jake over here. Look, look at this, Jake. And Jake will go over there and look when the Lord said, don't look at that. Come on over here, Jake, and do this right here. And the Jake will go over there and do it when the Lord said, don't do that. You know, so he's leading Jake to all these things. That's what the Lord is telling him. Woe, Habakkuk 2 and 15. Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that putteth thy bottle, bottle to him, and makest him drunken also that thou mayest look on their nakedness. And then he goes in, in, in to the Lord and, and, and tells the Lord, look at what they're doing. These are your people. These are the people, Lord, that you, you want as your people. You know, when you set them up the whole time, as a matter of fact, it, it reminds me of one more. Let me get this last scripture in Revelations, the 12th chapter real quick, because this is what this dude does, man. You know, this is Revelations 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation 
and strength and the kingdom of, of our power and the power of his his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our power day and night that's what this dude does he sets Jace, Jacob, leads him to these things. Jake uh, 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 indulges in these things. Then he goes to the Lord and accuses him, you know, which we just read in Habakkuk. He said, whoa, to them. So he's going to pay. And it says he's going to be cast down, you know, you know. So, hey, man, it's all good. This dude is just a devil, man, at the end of the day. So, so it is what it is, you know, but, you know, hopefully this was edifying to the hopeful elect. With that, giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shal Dawadat, Shalom.